Okay. It is now Saturday afternoon, April the 5th, 2014. And we are closing in on uh, Happy Pagan Ishtar. It's getting closer. Or at least Good Friday. Which is an excuse uh, to eat great seafood. Being that it's a pagan holiday anyway. Is that the seven fishes? Well, I can't eat, I can't acquire seven fishes. I'm not exactly rolling in that much dough. So I'm going to have to, I'll be lucky if I have two fishes. <laughs> or one fish. <laughs> one fish. But anyway, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to leave you people out. Welcome to Uncensored hard-hitting truth. I am your host for this show. It was formerly called uh, Progressive Discussions, but we don't want any any labels, so we removed the word progressive, because uh, what really counts is uh, just pursuing the real hard-hitting truth, you know, and not worried about being uh, uh, pigeonholed or categorized into any political party or any uh, being tagged with any label. Okay, but welcome anyway. I'm your host, James P. Madon of Mega Life 21, and I will now formally pipe aboard my illustrious co host and mentor and the very founder of Newsletter Censored in 1977 with my authentic bosun's whistle. Welcome aboard our uh, hard-hitting truth starship censored, the one and only, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. How are you doing this week, sir? Make it so. Uh, you want to do Picard again? Yeah. It's up to you. Make it so. It's kind of a lame thing to say if you're a starship captain. Make it so. I like I like when he played uh, Captain Ahab in a in a much Brrr. in a much newer version of Moby Dick. Moby Dick. Patrick Stewart made a great Captain Ahab. It was a great movie. Uh, I, I want to see it again. I only saw it once. But he's on a stage right now. I forget what. Oh yeah. Yeah, what uh, thing he's in? But he's on stage right now. Well, I believe he plays um, uh, Agent Stan Smith's boss of the, the CIA super uh, director uh, on the. Uh, cartoon American Dad. He does the voice and he it looks just like him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he's got a steady job. Same thing with Adam West. He's the, well, he, on Family Guy, he's the mayor of Quahog, Rhode Island. Whether or not it's a fictitious town or, or it's supposed to be a city, you know, like Gotham well, City was in Metropolis. Uh, that's a type of clam, isn't it? A Quahog is a full grown clam. It is a chowder clam. Uh huh. It's an Indian word for yeah. a for the clam, uh. you know, and from what I understand, the hmm. the shells of the quahog were the original wampum. I think the ones with the, that were purple inside that was the original currency for those Indians. Cute. That's where the word wampum came from, you know. I probably learned worth more than our dollar. Probably wampum is, but a clam shell is probably worth more than the U.S. dollars, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm always learning new things concerning history. I, I, you, you never stop learning, believe me. You know, but uh, <clears throat> anyway, I don't have much to say in my little monologue. But okay, here we here we go. Um, last month, the month of March. 2014, uh, our official um, uh, right-wing douchebag of the month award winner was Paul Ryan of, uh, hey! of Wisconsin. What was he? He was. Uh, he, he's a uh, congressman. Congressman. Yeah. Okay, but he's uh, he always seems to be in the spotlight. Old well, he Mupp was a vice presidential candidate. Yeah, that's true. That's why he's in the spotlight. Yeah. Uh, old Muppet Face himself was. Uh, right-wing douchebag of the of the for the month of March and uh, I am proud to say proud to announce that uh, 
the right wing douchebag of the month award winner for April uh, happens to be Antonin Scalia. Y'all Jowly El Duce himself. Uh, 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 he looks like an ugly version of, of Lou Costello. And doesn't believe that two and a half million dollars is a lot of money. Does it come out of his pocket? No, that's the, what he's, the justification for voting for to allow the rich and corporations to put more money into the politics. Which means more corruption. Yeah, so he, but he said that? two and a half million dollars is not a lot of money. There wasn't enough corruption. For them to throw around. With, with, the, with the Republican Congress, with uh, there wasn't United. enough corruption. Uh, that's correct. It had to, it had to increase it. Yeah. So uh, thanks to the uh, conservative Supreme Court justices, in which one of them is Antonin Scalia, old uh, uh, jolly face himself with the, with the double chin, um, he uh, now there's more corruption than ever before because uh, more corporate and elitist influence, monetary influence, will be allowed well, in American politics. Fifty-seven percent of that money goes to Republicans, and that's probably why the decision was made. <laughs> you know, they're so predictable, Republicans. They're so obviously predictable. There's no mystery to to. Will it certainly be is mystery to their supporters? I am glad you brought that up. I am glad you brought that up. This there, there's not a day that goes by where I am not completely dismayed, flabbergasted, puzzled as to why Americans vote for a Republican when when they are definitely so obvious in their motives mm -hmm. and they they definitely make the stupidest most asinine statements mm -hmm. and they are definitely uh, do not have uh, mainstream's best interests at heart mm -hmm. but they vote for them and it's not just the red states it's not just the Bible Belt states even New Jersey reelected Chris Christie mm -hmm. And New Jersey is a northeastern state that's traditionally uh, Democrat. Mm -hmm. They reelected this guy, and you know, I mean, look, this is bizarre world we're living in. It's the devil's world if you take it from a biblical point of view. But it's like now you have states that normally right. are are Democrat. Uh, mm -hmm. Minnesota, Wisconsin, voting for Republicans. Republicans to represent their states and governors, it makes absolutely no sense. Well, on a lighter note, because there won't be any lighter notes when we do the show, because we, we never run out of material nowadays. <clears throat> uh, the f uh, another award here, the funniest right-wing lie for this week was told by uh, Ted Cruz. Is that his first name? Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz, Republican, where when he uh, recently had stated that Republicans are not all for the rich. That's a misconception <laughs> made by Democrats. Republicans are not all for the rich. No. Mr. Pinocchio faced himself, Ted Cruz. I see a lot of untapped potential here. Yeah, that's Ted Cruz. He's got the he's got a nose like the you know, remember the tin the tin man from the Wizard of Oz? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just he looks just like that, except he's not silver. His face is not silver. Pinocchio the tin man had his nose on top of his head, that can. Oil can or what the hell it was it? With the spout. Yeah, he had an oil can. That's what Ted Cruz knows. <laughs> well, Ted Cruz uh, says that, you know, well, uh, the liberals are wrong, that, you know, uh, Republicans are for, they're for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Including the, po the poor. <laughs> Prove all things and hold fast that which is good. Show me one thing uh, that Republicans have done uh, for the middle class and the poor and normal people. One thing! I can't think of any. That's correct, because there ain't any. Whatever you want to call us, mainstream, common folk, po' folk, 
regular folk, Joe Six Packs, whatever you want to call we the people. Republicans haven't done a, a damn thing for any of us. But these stupid asses in America keep on voting for them. And I was talking to Martha from Kentucky. Uh -huh, Martha and I real. told her, I think, the only reason why they keep on voting for them is because they are bewitched by their cultist religion, their religious cult, which ha is not biblical at all. And if, if a candidate is pro-choice, they will immediately not vote for that person. That's correct. They are bewitched by a a false Christianity, a counterfeit Christianity. That's correct. A cult, and that's the only reason why they vote Republican, because in reality, Republicans do not give a shit about these poor people that live out in the southern and western states that are living week to week. It's just the same as they love the embryo and the fetus, but they hate the born child. Same deal, and and they're so preoccupied with what, what gay people are doing, you know, and and, uh, and and they're so preoccupied with forcing their so-called religion on everyone else, and they're using wrong. your taxpayers' money to support their cultist, counterfeit religion that is not based on the Bible. Mm -hmm. and it's probably why they they hate Pope Francis. Because Pope Francis is, is the only pope with, with a pair of balls to step up and tell the truth mm -hmm. in the history of the Catholic Church. So, mm -hmm. But the Republicans don't like Pope Francis. No. No. No, they don't. Because he's exposing the problems and flaws with capitalism. That which we worship in America. That's true. That Capitalism, uh, uh, Chevrolet, the Bible, and Old Glory. And apple pie. And apple pie. It's all an illusion. It's all an illusion. Uh, could, you, could you imagine, Reverend Bill, how many lies are taught to children in school through textbooks, through American textbooks? Well, that's because they get, they get uh, censored in Texas. His history books that taxpayers' money, your taxpayers' money, are paying for uh -huh. to tell children lies, to teach them lies about American history. You know, I mean, uh, mm -hmm. even the founding fathers, they owned slaves. Mm -hmm. They weren't angels uh -huh. back then. You know. Yeah. You know, all men are created equal as long as you're white and rich. Exactly. Well, rich in those days was uh, owning property. It was all basically. About, it was about real estate. Yeah, basically. So George Washington was not what you call a rich man as far as moolah was concerned, but yeah. he owned property. Thomas Jefferson owned, owned Jefferson and those they owned property. I said, I said, their son, they owned plantations. And that's why. Got to do a little foghorn leghorn. And that's why in the millennium, according to God, all, all the humans at that time will own property. Because if you don't own property, you are not a free person. No. Okay. You know, it's so, it's so funny when I come across a, like a Native American banner where they're pointing out that, you know, the European uh, colonists claimed they discovered the new world, the, the new world. They discovered America, they discovered this, they discovered that. They just came and stole the, 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 the homeland away from the Native Americans, period, by extortion and, and genocide. Corruption. And genocide with the smallpox in the blankets mm -hmm. and killing off the bison, trying to make the bison extinct. Genocide. You know that, uh, Gary, no you used to have a herd of bison? Buffalo? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I think his, that I think that organic farm he has in Florida is fantastic. That whole that whole concept of the beekeeping and the and the organic farming. Uh, um, you know, I mean, uh, I suggested something twice on the uh, on our holistic health talk uh, Facebook group that every schoolyard in America and every county park should have uh, a, a, a fruit. I mean. A, 
produce and herb garden mm -hmm. and and also a fruit orchard uh, in every public yard and and children should actually uh, have to take a course in Be gardening taught gardening yes. taught gardening and all the produce including the fruit veggies and herbs should uh, should be donated to food pantries and to feed the homeless and everybody thinks that's a fantastic idea you know and uh, hey you got you got parks where taxpayers dollars have to uh, go towards landscaping you know cutting the grass and this that and the other thing why not have a, an array of fruit trees at the county park or in every schoolyard and teach these no, kids how to... F they cut down the trees and put up uh, pavements and just asphalt. That's what they like. Then there was another banner um, with a statement made by uh, Bill de Blasio, who is now uh, the mayor of New York City. And Bill de Blasio says, if, if we have a fast food restaurant in every corner, why can't we have a garden on every corner? Mm-hmm. And they show a show a photo of um, an older African American man with a uh, with a vegetable and herb garden on, on his property, and he's taking care of it. And uh, I think it's a fantastic idea. Of course, you know. Uh, uh, um, That's why I won't go anywhere. There's there's an organization called the City Farmer, which is based on uh, local er er people that have some land and. And growing things on it, and, it can and window be boxes, and you know the whole. The whole well, bit. no, 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 no. You got to have a little land. I mean, well, yeah, but if you don't have any land, you live in an apartment building with, you know. If you don't have any other people, if you don't have any land, do what I did. I have, I have a yard, where I live. I have ground, but the soil in my town is horrible. It's all like. Uh, loaded with rocks and it's like this very hard clay mm. soil it's it, nothing grows in it so what i did was i went to the dollar store local dollar store and i i got a uh, five gallon plastic buckets you know like um not so much depth but width and i uh also bought big large bags of potting soil at the dollar store also and then I went to a certain area in Patterson New Jersey where I got my plants like four for a dollar fifty whatever you want peppers tomatoes whatever okay eggplant and that's what I've been doing and uh, and before the frost hits I put them in a basement so they survive and then in the spring I, I take them outside and city people can easily put these buckets on the roof of mm -hmm. their apartment building. People that live in the inner city. Mm -hmm. Or if they have a fire escape that mm -hmm. is secure, relatively, they can put them out there. Or, uh, or let, let's just say they have access to the roof. Well, Joe Blow gets some sidewalk chalk and actually people in the building have a meeting and they say, you know, look, we're gonna beat the high cost of uh, we're going to beat the supermarkets and we're going to start growing things organically and let's use the roof get some sidewalk chalk you know uh, allocate <coughs> certain uh, square footage certain uh, plots of roof this apartment uh, whatever 24 B this is your spot this is the other guy's spot this is the other guy's spot and utilize the roof hey there's beekeepers, restaurants that have uh, commercial beehives on top on of New roof. York City buildings on the roof, and they're and they're collecting so much honey. Not only for the restaurant, they have a great surplus which they sell to the public, mm. and the bees just simply go from the roof to Central Park to go ga uh, gather their uh, their nectar and pollen from the blossoms in Central Park. Uh, actually, Central Park is quite green right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot that can be done if people only work together and cooperate. A lot could be accomplished, you know. Yeah, yeah, but that's a problem in a competitive society. But if you have a victory garden, Working in, together. if you have a house in Bergen County, New Jersey, or 
anywhere in, in suburbs of New Jersey and you decide to have a garden in the front and back, mm -hmm. if you have one in the front, you will get fined very heavily because it's supposedly, it's an eyesore and, and it, the neighbors will complain and the property value supposedly drops, drops because it's not aesthetically attractive compared to a lawn. People don't want to see a cornfield. People don't want to see vegetables and herbs in the front. So there goes home ownership in America. <laughs> you, you own the home, but you don't own the land is what I'm trying to say. You know, but uh, that's it. So uh, let us sink our teeth into these readings. I teeth. Oh, I had one of those. I had it pulled out. Well, now you can't see anymore. What a freaky... No. <laughs> what, what a freaky tooth that grows out of your upper gum. Oh, my God. I call that an eye teeth. Eye tooth. Why is Governor Christie the lead story just about every day in the newspaper? Because he's uh, 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 um, obnoxious and he uh, he hogs the spotlight because nobody else will fit in the spotlight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would say that. And he makes it his business to you know be out there. His his name is spread across the front pages and throughout most of the paper. There are many other events that could better use the coverage. Everything has been rehashed countless times. A smoking gun has not been found linking the governor. But if a story is repeated often enough, it becomes etched in stone. And the governor's name will always be linked to this one. Well, doesn't he take uh, people's minds off of the uh, Republican Congress? If everybody's talking about Christie? The Democrats are afraid of Christie's appeal to voters. Appeal? I'm, I'm trying to figure out what that appeal is. With 26 around the corner, they would like to keep demonizing him so he would lose his luster to the electorate. He has a track record that is impressive. He does? Starting as a federal prosecutor That's and continuing as governor. Governor? He has an impressive track record as governor? So why does the press do the Democrats' dirty work? Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, very impressive. Uh, what has he done? Oh, well, he's cut the uh, rebate, uh, the, the property tax rebate to the, to the uh, disabled and the elderly. He's, he's cut the uh, medical uh, uh, care for women. He's uh, uh, given a tax cut to the rich. And a raise to the rest of and us. He's, and he's given tax dollars to his rich cronies, his rich well, wives. Well, cronyism is running rampant mm -hmm. in the Christie organization. Yeah. Yeah. And then we have the bridge gate. And somebody is preventing evidence from coming forth like it normally would. Well, we don't know yet because uh, the Senate and the Assembly combined are still with their investigation. And the U.S. Attorney. Well, they so, apparently do not have good people investigating it. Because well, maybe it, they're just taking their time and making sure they cross, they cross their T's and dot their I's. Okay. Instead of coming out with a piece of crap like Christie's lawyers did. They don't want to come out half-cocked and... Uh, yeah. Yeah, they want to come out with concrete, written-in-stone evidence. Yeah. Would it be on a shadow of a doubt? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's understandable. Mm -hmm. Before they nail him to mm -hmm, the cross, mm -hmm. and and let me tell you, they better use titanium <laughs> nails to keep Christie up there on the cross. They better use wide titanium nails. Continuing with Governor Christie, yeah, there are two types of politicians in the world: those who seek the truth. And those who don't. I thought it was just corrupt ones and less corrupt ones. <laughs> <laughs> Hoboken <coughs> Mayor Don Zimmer brought serious allegations regarding the Christie administration handling of Sandy funds. The response by Governor Christie's lawyers, who did not interview the mayor, 
was to devote nearly half of a more than 300 page report to discredit her. This is in contrast to Christie's reported comment, quote, I'm disappointed in myself that I didn't look closer. Closer at what? The sole objective of the report appears to be to shield Christie from responsibility. Explanations coming from the governor's lawyers are not only complicated and confusing. In the case of Bridget Kelly, they are also vindictive. Mm -hmm. The simple truth, as noted in the article, is that the report is an investigation into the office that is paying for it. Yeah. Or as my dad used to say, he who pays the piper calls the tune. Well, the New Jersey taxpayers are paying for Chris Christie's uh, uh, legal representation, which is not fair at all. Christie's lawyers may believe Don Zimmer is confused. I hope New Jersey voters are not. Well, they were confused enough to re-elect them. Uh -huh. So I don't, I don't put too much stock in New Jersey voters anymore. I think the I don't put too much stock in, in the average American period anywhere in the U.S. That's correct. I think they're all numbskulls and they're all uh, brain cell deficient. If we are not for ourselves, who will be before? Yeah. So said Golda Meir, the former Israeli prime minister. I will specifically apply this question to the women of New Jersey and ultimately to women throughout the United States. The answer surely doesn't exist within the Christie administration or his Republican Party. Mm. Lawyer Randy Maestro actually has done a great service to women by the cowardly and sexist manner he used toward Bridget Kelly in his report. Mm -hmm. Kelly's personal life has no place in this supposed investigative document and is purely a hypothetical and one that Christie himself said recently is not worthy of a response. Make no mistake, this was not an aberration. It is a pattern of abuse within the Republican Party as a whole. I continue to look forward to the actual exhaustive and thorough investigations yet to be revealed to the public. Furthermore, I hope that women everywhere will take note of what's been happening in New Jersey and reflect on their right to be treated fairly and respectfully with absolute unquestionable ethical standards. Let us not chalk this one up and sweep it under the rug. What's wrong with this picture? The Christie administration impanels its own committee to investigate the administration's role in the George Washington Bridge Lane closures and wonder of wonders, it finds no culpability on the part of the governor. And this, without interviewing a number of individuals who reportedly would have had a great deal of relevant information to contribute. Governor Christie must truly believe that the citizens of New Jersey are severely lacking in their ability to discern and evaluate the qualities that contribute to responsible leadership. Putting it mildly. As for me, I'm through with Christie. I was through with him uh, when he first ran for governor. <laughs> he is no longer the person I supported. He supported him. He's no longer the person I supported when he first took office. May I ask as why? governor of why? New Jersey? Mm -hmm. Is that because he believed all the uh, hype and the promises? 
He believed he was a big, gentle bear. A cuddly teddy bear. That's well, the right. cuddly teddy bear, like all Republicans, uh, when they run for office, they promise to uh, cut taxes. But uh, when they once they get elected, well, they do that, don't they? They, they do cut taxes, but yeah. only, only for the rich. Yeah, that's it. They just don't. There's no disclaimer when that's they make that statement. Well, that's one problem with with Republicans. When they make a statement, they do not finish it. They do not take it to its ultimate conclusion. Yeah, we're going to cut taxes. Little and little letters on the bottom for the rich. Well, they don't even put in that. Uh, no, there's no disclaimer. <laughs> disclaimer for crying out loud. For the rich. Oh, boy. I'm telling. Good googledy goo. In the words of uh, Grady Wilson from Sanford and Son. Good goobity goo. On a lighter note. There is a lighter note. It's opening day of trout season in New Jersey. Oh, that's right. Trout. Trout, yes. The only freshwater... Uh, 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 actually, it's a very good freshwater source of omega-3 fatty acids. Yeah. Yes, it is. But I don't like how they prepare trout. I used, to, I used to do trout very good. I, I only to, do fillets. I used to butterfly fillet the trout. I did a good job too. Butterfly fillet it. Usually they have it with the head and the tail and the whole, I don't. No, I that take that stuff. off. No, I I used to head off, tail off, butterfly. All the fins come off with the uh, um, with the culinary scissors, uh, yeah, yeah. kitchen scissors, and scale of course. And then I would butterfly fillet the trout. And, and it's all one piece, you know, one one big fillet. Mm -hmm. Yep. But this year, anglers have had to keep a sharp eye on the bad news, which is about their beloved quarry as they readied hook and line. What's going on with the trout? The fish may not be as plentiful as usual in some areas, but they're farm raised. When the state's trout season opens at 8 a.m. because of a disease oh, gosh. that led to the state to kill 100,000 trout. Let me guess. Um, um, the, um, the ponds uh, where these trout are farm raised are not uh, up to sanitary code, perhaps? But state officials said last month that they still planned to release 500,000 healthy trout in about 200 ponds and streams statewide in time for the opening day. You know, aquaculture, you have to be very careful of the water quality. If you're raising, whether, whether you're raising catfish, tilapia, or trout, you have to really dil dil diligently keep that water clean. Yeah, because the who? What, what's his name? Brayback, the Nestle guy, CEO. Uh, scumbag, yeah, because he owns all that water. That's scumbag. That's his water. It's not our water. Okay? That's what he says. Yeah. Yeah, of course he says. Well, I mean, uh, considering the fact that a pond, a man-made pond, is is a uh, restricted, limited body of water. So the more restricted the fish are, you know, the more limited they are to how many gallons they happen to be in, the uh, the greater the fluctuation of uh, of the quality of the water will go from from clean to to and tox whether it's toxic. But whether it's moving or not, should oh yeah, definitely there should be circulation because yeah. when there's no circulation, there's less oxygen in the water, and if there's less less oxygen. Then with the nitrogen cycle, there's more uh, toxic ammonia, mm. and you don't have the uh, aerobic bacteria that complete the nitrogen cycle. You have anaerobic bacteria, which are harmful. Some areas, they have said, will have more trout than ever before. Others are being stocked for the first time. The Hackensack River. Polluted. 
was slated to be one of the areas with more trout than usual to the portion of the river below the Oradell Reservoir to be stocked for the first time according to the State Department of the Environmental Protection website. Yeah, that means the water is not brackish there. The water is fresh. The Passaic River below the Great Falls in Patterson to the Dundee Dam in Garfield also will be stocked. Dundee Dam, time. is that named after Angelo Dundee, the former manager of uh, trainer of Muhammad Ali? Or Mick Dundee from uh, Crocodile Dundee? From <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, um, um, yes, oh, the Patterson Falls, I salute it, America's newest national park. Mm. And I also want to say hi to the director of the historic Patterson Museum, Mr. Giacomo Di Stefano, because yours truly, James P. Madonna and Ken Create, will be performing this season at the museum representing the, the museum outdoor performances. Cool. I will be playing my African djembe drum while Ken does his thing, Ken Create. Continue. The state announced uh, last month that it would kill 114,000 brook trout at the Pequest Trout Hatchery in Warren County. I find this fascinating. Because some of the 600,000 trout there were infected with furunculus. Yay. Furunculus? It sounds like... A fatal bacterial infection. It sounds like something you would hear on Star Trek. A disease from uh, another galaxy, Furunculus. That affects cold water fish. The disease is not transmittable to humans or other animals. What if you eat the fish, though? The Department of Environmental Protection said that several North Jersey waterways would not be stocked this year in an effort to avoid infecting healthy trout. Oh, they include the Paquanic River, Paquanic, Saddle River, okay, the Lower Wanakew River. Green Turtle Pond. Uh, I'm not sure where that is, but anyway. In West Milford. Oh, really? And Barber's Pond in Woodland Park. There's also in West in, in Ringwood, New Jersey, which is right next to, which is between uh, West Milford and the Wanakee Reservoir. There's there's a body of water where I used to go ice fishing called Long Pond mm. that they uh, they stock you know um, 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 I'm sorry I'm sorry not not Wanaki the Monksville it's connected to the Monksville Reservoir in Ringwood uh -huh. New Jersey the DEP said that fishermen can still fish in those waterways mm. just don't eat anything I wouldn't eat anything in in New Jersey anyway. If you if you uh, read the state um, um, newsletter, you know, a fish, a game, and wildlife uh, newsletter, it tells you do not Don't eat, eat the fish. do not eat any fresh or saltwater fish from our region oh, oh boy. more than once per month. Oh Lord, which is not good news. Oh Lord, why are they messing with our food? Why do we allow Monsanto to mess with our food? Allow, there's the key word. Why do they, as in the United States government and the state, allow uh, 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 um, big pharma, food, uh, uh, big agra, food industry, uh, big oil? Could big, it have anything to do with big money? Big scalotta? Pa big, big palms getting greased, Jeez. you know, and, uh, and there's a lot of hardheads out there that are not totally convinced that the two-party system is corrupt. I try to tell them, 
you got to think independent candidate. <laughs> you got to think about changing the system. Right. Totally. Oh. And get money out. Jesse, was, uh, the, the, the show he did from uh, Off the Grid. Didn't see it last on night. Or, from or, his Aura TV. Uh, he, it was titled The Federal Reserve. Yes. And he discusses that this very subject about money in politics and how uh, what Teddy Roosevelt said way back when, many years ago, what Teddy Roosevelt said was right on the money, but they, they ignored it. They, all politicians ignore what Teddy Roosevelt said today. And what Teddy, said, what Teddy Roosevelt suggested that when you, American politics, when it comes time for election and everybody's running, it should be an even playing field uh. and no one should have an advantage over the other when it comes to funding, campaign funding. Well, the Supreme Court just shoved that aside two days ago, didn't it? Uh, should we Along with its McCutcheon decision sh should we and all, Citizens United. Should we all say palm greasing again? More palm greasing allowed. The bloated toad. That's correct. Old double chin. Mr. Uh, Antonin Scalia, Antonin Roman Catholic that he Antonin is. Antonin Scalia, you, you ever see the picture of him with his hand like this? Yeah. El Duce. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do as I say, not as I do? Well. Heaven forbid we should, uh, you know, the little guy should do anything like the. Uh, the fat cats do, and, and the and the politicians do. They would throw away the key and lock us up. Hey, they got to protect their resources, man. Their resources. Yes, of course. Why are they, is it their resources? Because they have the money to buy it, or yeah. they just they have the, the means to control it. The scarcer and a, a, a commodity, the higher the price, and that price is certain people out of the market totally. So I, what's left? I guess they can care less what the Bible says about Earth's natural they resources. They use the Bible. They use Christianity. They use that, all of that stuff to get their power. That's what they do with religion. They, they, when they, they were, are not religious people. They are not righteous people. They, they were, are not moral when people. When they were children, these Republicans, I bet they had a hard time sharing their toys. Oh, indeed they did. With others. Yes, they did. They might have been spoiled and coddled too. Did you? Uh, what was the name of that uh, program with um, um, the guy, the, the kid for, uh, who uh, now has Parkinson's from uh, Back to the Future? Oh, uh, um, oh crap! Well, yeah, 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 well, yeah. Anyway, he was in another sitcom. Yes, he before was before that, where he was a conservative kid. <laughs> you um, know. And he loved uh, Nixon and uh, all of that crap yeah. and stuff, you know? How liberal they become when they hit rock bottom and de they become desperate or terminally ill or, or broke. Um, well, I don't know. Mr. Sheldon Adelson is riding around on a scooter <laughs> and he say it hasn't done anything for his mind. You know who's a cheap bastard? Uh, Mark uh, Zucker Geek, Zuckerberg of uh, Facebook. I hear well, he keeps giving uh, all this stuff, you know. I away. hear he refrains from purchasing rich man's toys. Yeah, maybe it's just a, uh, a propaganda thing. So I, people I don't say so. bad things about I him or something so. like that. But behind your back, watch out. He's but, got his hands into something. Well, any politician could, could do know. that, you know, a, a, a PR, you know, a photo ops. And like the one about planting a tree in Haiti when they show uh, Bill Clinton oh, pointing geez. to the hole and the Haitian man is like pr planting a small tree and it looks like Bill Clinton is helping him yeah. plant the tree. In reality, he's probably just posing to make it look like he's helping the Haitian plant the tree. The money does not get to the people who need it in Haiti. He does it. Oh, definitely not. Jeez. Definitely not. You know, and uh, and then of course with the uh, CEO of the American Red Cross making a fortune. I hear. I I I I, I heard there's a um, 
I think it's a female too, right? This, yes. yes. There's a particular charity where only a few cents on the dollar goes <laughs> goes towards a worthy cause. I thought it was like a quarter, 50 cents, 25 no, cents. No, maybe 5%. No. Huh? 5%, I think. I couldn't believe Something it. Something like that. I could not believe how... It's almost nothing that goes to the worthy cause. It's almost nothing. It's just they give a little just to get the name and, and be able to get the contributions and all the other crap. Now with the uh, uh, third world... You know who else is like that? With the who? Pat Robertson's crapola. I never hear Joel Osteen uh, giving money to feed starving children in Africa. Hey! It's their fault, man, if they're you know, poor. I mean... Um, it's uh, and with third world countries, with the poor people in third world countries, the politicians are so corrupt that I don't think any of that money ever reaches the poor. No. no. You know. Um, there should be no poor in the world. There certainly should be no poor in the United States of America. But since there are, we know that there's something wrong. Well, when they when they when they tell you when Bernie Sanders uh, mentions uh, how many billionaires are in America compared to how many children that are living in poverty and squalor. <laughs> well, it's like uh, it's like it's like the politics, uh, the money in the politics. Six hundred and forty-six people only. Yeah. Give money to the politicians. The rest of uh, the population does not. 646 people. Yeah. Okay? Give the aggregate amount that they can. 646 people. These are the people who are ruling America. Yeah. So there you go. 646 people. Scientists have uncovered a large ocean beneath the icy surface of Saturn's moon. Enceladus. One of Saturn's moons, right? One of Saturn's moons. Italian and American researchers said the ocean is as big as Lake Superior is centered at the south pole of Enceladus and could encompass much if not most of the moon. Sounds like a, a, a very exotic salad that you order for at, a, at a fancy May restaurant. I have an Enceladus please? Well Enceladus, there is an Enceladus. And an empanada. What's, what, what's the other? It, I, I did see the word en empanata. Ensalada on, on a menu in the, at the Mexican restaurant I ate at Wednesday. Ensalada might mean salad in Spanish. I'm sure it's not. Well, it's a funny name. For I'm a sure moon. it's not spelled that way. You know, the moon. You know, on Sa the Saturn moon. You know, uh, incidentally, the, the the food was awesome. All you can eat every Wednesday for ten dollars, mm -hmm. and it's fresh, and they use fresh cilantro, and it's the best Mexican food I ever had. Me Rancho, in on Main Street in Hackensack, New Jersey, near the courthouse. Me Rancho. They have a website. Look it up. Continue. Enceladus is about 310 miles across. The discovery announced on Thursday makes the interior of Enceladus a very attractive potential place to look for life. Well, if you have H2O, ho! Said the Cornell University planetary scientist Jonathan Lunane. Lunane who participated in the study that appears in the journal Science. Mm -hmm. I was just reading about this uh, uh -huh. planet. It, it's amazing. That far from the sun to have uh, a, uh, an ocean. I thought it ain't frozen. To have water that's not frozen. Yeah, right, exactly. If you have water, it should be frozen. Well, if you're that far from the sun. In space. Uh, what do you think? Break? 
Yeah, well, in a moment or two, because this is a little, this is obviously going to need discussion. Okay, we'll wait. We uh, have been elucidating to it many times here tonight. Um, right. Okay, whatever. We're going to take a break. It's time for the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman's gastronomic delight. Which I have no appetite for. Is lunch, known as lunch, and we will be followed right now to, by promo. No William Morrow this week. Uh, we will go to promo, our commercial, and then back to the show. This has been a Mega Life 21 production. So you lost another argument with a conservative, right-wing Republican. He talked over you. He screamed and yelled. He brought out the Bible. He thumped it. He quoted scripture to you. You were lost because you came at him with facts. Nothing but facts. And you expected that that would, uh, that would make you look good. That would make you win the argument, but it didn't. You know why you lost the argument? You know why you're going to lose your next argument? Because you don't read Censored. Censored, a 30-year-old newsletter that shows you how to defeat a conservative. Read Censored, and you'll have all the ammunition you need. Every time you get into an argument with a right-wing conservative, uh, so-called Christian. Censored, that's all you need. Read it, and defeat a conservative. Greetings, listeners. Let me speak to you for a moment about the foundation of our entire organization, Newsletter Censored. It was founded by our mentor, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman, in 1977. It discusses the five taboos of American life, politics, religion, health, human sexuality, and child rearing. You won't find anything like this in the mainstream media and the press. It reveals the kind of truth that most people are afraid to hear. Can you handle it? We are living in the end times, so in order to defeat a conservative and save America, you need Newsletter Censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com, click on the printable order form page, and with your gift to support this work, get your free annual subscription. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21, the hardest hitting internet talk radio station on the planet. Hi, this is William Morrow. Are you one of those people who join a health club and after they have your big overpriced annual membership, you notice that you're on your own with little or no results even after all the promises? Then the website personal trainer is for you. Thank you very much, William H. Morrow III. So you lost another argument with a conservative, right-wing Republican. He talked over you. He screamed and yelled. He brought out the Bible. He thumped it. He quoted scripture to you. You were lost because you came at him with facts. Nothing but facts. And you expected that that would, uh, that would make you look good. That would make you win the argument, but it didn't. You know why you lost the argument? You know why you're going to lose your next argument? Because you don't read Censored. Censored, a 30-year-old newsletter that shows you how to defeat a conservative. Read Censored, and you'll have all the ammunition you need. Every time you get into an argument with a right-wing conservative, uh, so-called Christian. Censored, that's all you need. Read it, and defeat a conservative. Greetings, listeners. Let me speak to you for a moment about the foundation of our entire organization, Newsletter Censored. It was founded by our mentor, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman, in 1977. It discusses the five taboos of American life, politics, religion, health, human sexuality, and child rearing. 
You won't find anything like this in the mainstream media and the press. It reveals the kind of truth that most people are afraid to hear. Can you handle it? We are living in the end times, so in order to defeat a conservative and save America, you need newsletter censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com, click on the printable order form page, and with your gift to support this work, get your free annual subscription. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21, the hardest hitting internet talk radio station on the planet. Michael J. Fox. Yes! That's the actor from, uh, that got Parkinson's disease that was from Back to the Future that we were trying to remember before we uh, went to our commercial break. Before break and lunch. Yeah. Michael J. Fox. Now, um, we uh, let's go over um, what we were discussing concerning um, a pattern that is connected with uh, everyone that uh, decides to uh, commit mass murder with, all the with recent, an assault weapon. All the recent shootings, the Fort Hood, etc., etc., the schools, the drug was involved and usually it was prescription they were all under a certain particular type of drug prescription drug correct and that drug is not just one they're all guilty but what are the what are the drugs are related you were telling me the antidepressants they're okay. all guilty so everyone... They all cause these mood swings. They all cause these suicidal thingies, whatever. And we're referring to the recent uh, killing of the... Um, Fort Hood. Was he, was he a, 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 a former soldier or Marine? Yes, he was. The, the, the Latin gentleman yes, that... Yes, he uh, was. Uh, ...started firing at Fort Hood and shot himself with a forty-five caliber uh, pistol? A young lady uh, MP shot him. And then I believe he shot himself in the head. Something of that nature. You see. But the fact of the matter is, these drugs do not do what they are supposed to do. They cause you to be nuts. Well, there's something... The, then it's the fault of uh, Big Pharma. Well, yeah. And the they, how and many the, did they kill with, uh, whatchamacallit, Vioxx? And the FDA. Yeah. Both it of them. It all goes back to money again. They're both responsible. Money at the expense of people. people. Of people and the planet. And the environment, which is the planet. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It always, like Jesse Ventura always, uh, always says, follow the money trail. <laughs> Follow Just money. follow the money trail. Yeah. You got it. Okay. All right. <coughs> All right. right. Let us sink our teeth back into these readings. All right. Now, we've been talking about this in offhand remarks here all this show. Okay. Okay. Uh, we'll, oh. get, we'll get a little update on it now. Yeah. Oh, by the way, is uh, is next Friday? Is this coming Friday? Good 20. Friday. Is it? It's Good the Friday. The twenty is Easter, so the the seventeen is Friday. So so is it next? Is next Friday Good Friday or no? Uh, no. Actually, the eighteenth. Excuse me, is Good Friday. Okay, so but it's 18th. not it's not next Friday. It's the following Friday. Yep. Okay. Next Friday is the eleventh. Oh. Okay, okay. The 11th. All right. Okay. Next reading. The Supreme Court's the conservative majority voted on Wednesday to free. Oh, they were so b restricted. To free wealthy donors to give to as many political candidates and political campaigns uh, as they want. Yes, very, very good reading because it's all tied into what we've been talking about. 
further loosening the reins on giving by big contributors as the 2014 campaign moves into high gear. So they're gearing up for uh, for more uh, payoffs by and uh, Republican power. Yes, yes, uh, that's their their main agenda. <laughs> is to uh, be in power and uh, to be e ever so more greedy than ever before and uh, eventually they want to enslave the little guy. To be in power and to help the rich and the big corporations and all of that. Hey, why do you think Republicans are so much against uh, the legalization of marijuana because then they can't throw all those extra people in privatized prisons to work for free. And besides, it's creating jobs. This new industry. Jobs? Yes, this new industry. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, it's hemp. creating jobs. Legalize hemp. Yes. Yes, it is. Hemp is hemp as a plan is a savior for mankind. Mm -hmm. And I'm not talking about smoking it. I'm talking about it's very, very versatile, yeah. extremely beneficial. Yeah. It was a fresh declaration by the 5-4 majority that many limits on big money contributions violate the giver's constitutional free speech rights. Remember now, that. Now, money is speech. Yes. And, and when you don't allow these rich bastards uh, to give as much as they want to a political candidate, you are restricting their freedom of speech. Right. Now, okay. now, if any decision made by Republicans backfires, Fox News will just blame Obama uh. <laughs> for everything. <laughs> they do it now. Yeah. Well, why should they change? Right? This is Obama's uh, 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 economy. Yeah. Not George W. Speaking of George W. Bush. He's a paint. He paints. Yeah, look at the paintings around here. Actually, he's going to get big bucks for his paintings. Actually, look at all my stinking paintings. Actually, for a nincompoop like him, they're not bad. <laughs> they're not yeah. bad. Stallone's paintings are horrible, though. Sylvester Stallone. Well, I can guarantee you that uh, oh, he'll get Mr. Whatchamacallit uh, Bush He's going to get some dollars for his stupid oh, paintings. Oh, okay? yeah, just because of his signature. That's correct. And That's the same correct. thing with Sly Stallone. That's correct. Doesn't matter what you paint. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The biggest of those rulings was the 2010 decision right. in the Citizens United case that lifted restrictions right. on independent spending by corporations and labor unions. Mm -hmm. Wednesday's ruling va avoided the overall federal limit on individuals' contributions of $123,200 in 2013 and 2014, and may have more symbolic than substantive importance in a world in which millions in unlimited donations from liberal and conservative spending spenders are involved. Mm -hmm. The old rules, the sum of each person's contributions to federal candidates and parties mm -hmm. and PACs was limited to $123,200 for the 2013-2014 election season, including caps of $48,600 on giving to individual campaigns and $74,600 on giving to political action committees. Contributions also were limited to $5,200 per candidate, $2,600 each for the primary and general election campaigns, and $5,000 a year per PAC. New rules! There are no caps anymore on the overall amounts that contributors can donate to candidates, so political that, parties. So that means the, Repu the Republicans will have an astronomical amount of campaign money to work with. Since they get 57% of this money, yes. 
like from people like yes. the Koch brothers. The Kokies! Perhaps Monsanto. Uh, all, all of the wicked CEOs uh, uh, in, 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 in the United States and, yeah, in the United States, yeah. But they will be giving to the Republicans. And, uh, yeah. And compared to the Democrats, uh, it'll be astronomical amount of money. You know? Yeah. But contributors still are limited to giving $5,200 per candidate and 5000 per pack. The impact. The super rich have other ways to spread around more campaign cash. Just 644, I've heard 646, donors gave the maximum amount in 2012, according to the Nonpartisan Center for Responsive Politics. Nonpartisan? Yeah. Yeah. So, as I said before, those 646 or 644, whatever the amount is, control our politics. They get the job done. Okay? Well, Considering the fact that um, that Americans never do any research to find out the real truth, and and they only pay attention to what they see on television, uh, I guess all that extra money does play a huge factor in in an election. Yeah, because it allows them to put lying ads on TV. Every time there's an election, I could. Um, I could distinguish um, a, a lie from a Republican ad compared to the Democratic candidate. I could uh, immediately. I just ignore them. I, I ignore yeah, the you ads. You do, but their supporters don't. See, that's that's a problem. Yeah. Their supporters believe their ads and never bother to research, back check them. To research, to back check them, to research both sides of the story. Um, the only, the only thing that, you know what, I'm not even sure if watching the debates will change their mind. There is no debate. How can there be a debate if they automatically will never vote for a Democrat? Yeah. So how can there be a debate? You know? And, then, and this goes back to that, that phony cult that they call yes, a religion. Exactly. Exactly. Their cloak. Their cloaking device. That's what it's used as. Yes, the Romulan cloaking device. Their Christianity. And in fact, that leads into our next thing here. Okay. Which is uh, the cloaking device that Hobby Lobby is using. Ah, Hobby okay? Lobby. Yes, yes, the religious nuts of Hobby Lobby. Yeah. The company leading the legal, legal challenge against birth control coverage under Obamacare offers its workers a retirement plan that includes investments in companies making contraceptive and abortion drugs. Hobby Lobby Stores Incorporated has a 401k plan featuring several mutual funds investing in pharmaceutical firms that produce intrauterine birth control devices and emergency contraceptive pills and drugs that's the used I in abortion procedures. That's the IUD. Not not the IOU that... Uh, and the so morning that, after uh, pill. The, the morning after pill. Yeah. The, not not the IOU that... Ha uh, ha ha ha! That, um, <clears throat> that the, uh, you know what? John Travolta in Saturday Night Fever uh, accidentally uh, called it instead of an IUD. Or that's like the uh, the the guy who's uh, never going to be a father to the baby if he, if if she gets pregnant he leaves an I O U. Well, you know. Um, I O U sucker. You know the uh, I've been seeing a lot of uh, um, medical malpractice lawsuit commercials on late night TV for the um, the Morena yeah yeah uh, yeah intrauterine device which is uh, it. It's not metallic. It's, it looks like a plastic, but it contains hormones. The mm. copper IUD does not contain any hormones. But any, anyway, 
what, what's been happening is the Mirena IUD has been getting embedded in and, the uterus wall, in, into, uterine wall. into uterine wall, causing mm. damage, and then it has to be surgically removed. removed, but it's causing health problems for the woman and pain. Right. And, uh, and there's, there are lawsuits uh, happening right now uh, against uh, the company that makes the Mirena IUD. Remember, if it were up to Republicans, they would limit the amount of money that you or anyone else can get from a case like that. Oh, they, they can care less how much damage is done by medical malpractice. Exactly. What if what if they uh, are damaged by a, a surgeon or a physician? What if what if uh, they are the victim? Well, you know that's one problem with Republicans. They think individually when it comes to money, but not when it comes to collectivism spreading the, you know, the uh, involving all the people, then they are not there. But isn't this tied directly into the deregulation of companies? Because when you deregulate corporations, then there's no rules. Then there's no rules. Cool. Therefore, uh, the, there's an open season, so to speak, on the mainstream. Exactly. And in this case... And that's what they want. This case, if you cannot get full monetary compensation, for your suffering, for your pain and suffering, mm -hmm. because the Republicans won't allow you to to gain full monetary comp uh, restitution, mm -hmm. then that's just that's the same as being a victim by a deregulated company. Correct. Getting screwed, getting it's, lied to, getting it's cheated. Giving all the benefits to the big boys and girls. Getting robbed. You know. By the company. Yeah, it's back to the days of feudalism. Yeah. Where, where the royal family owned everything and you own nothing. Exactly. Well, and you if, ha you and only if they allowed you to work on the land, yeah. <laughs> it still was their land, well, not yours. Well, you, lo you owned uh, a little tiny little plot where your, where your cottage sat on. <laughs> if you got a cottage. Maybe I'd uh, use a tent. I don't know. They had cottages in, the, in medieval times, yeah. in the Middle Ages. They lived in cottages, you know, modest, you know, where you did all the cooking in the fireplace. Okay, where was it? Uh, uh, or according to the Labor Department, documents and a review of fund portfolios. Oklahoma-based Hobby Lobby and the Green family that owns it say their religious beliefs prohibit them from offering health coverage for contraceptive drugs and devices that can work after fertilization. But does does not uh, paying for contraception lower the cost for them of the of the uh, health coverage? Does they're not worried about that. Listen, and besides, that's not their damn business. What other besides, people do with their lives? It's not them that is providing anything, but a private insurance company. So it's not going to affect them their their uh, health insurance costs to their employees no the cost is not involved here the cost will be the same so there's being it is a religious issue so to they're them. being intrusive with other people's lives they are yes they are making rules for other people mind your From own their religious damn business right-wing evangelical religious nuts. Baptists they're Baptists uh, like I said yes they're, it's, they're like evangelicals. Mind your own fucking business. <laughs> Don't worry about what other people do. You have no right shoving your beliefs on other people and interfering and intrusively interfering with other women's lives who choose to use contraception mm -hmm. or who choose to have premarital sex or whatever. It's none of your damn business. Mind your own stinking business. Jerk offs, douchebags. The retailer and others have sued the Obama administration challenging the Affordable Care Act's requirement that employers provide coverage for all approved forms of birth control, including the morning after pill and similar drugs that may work after the egg has been fertilized. 
Oh, but these nuts probably think a, a fertilized egg is a human life. That's correct. Because life begins at conception. No, them. it doesn't. For them, it does. It, it begins when, when Adam took the first breath. The Supreme Court heard arguments last week and is expected to issue a ruling by June. This is the height of hypocrisy. Cecil Richards, president of Planned Parenthood Action Fund said. It is. It is. Hobby Lobby CEO wants to deny the company's 13,000 employees access to affordable birth control while investing in pharmaceutical companies that make it. Hobby Lobby spokeswoman Emily Hardman did not immediately respond to a request for a comment. Hobby Lobby's 401k plan includes funds that invest in Teva Pharmaceutical Industries, maker of Plan B, known as the morning after pill. Mm -hmm. And Paragard, an intrauterine device. Yeah. Hobby Lobby objects to offering employee coverage for both forms of birth control. The investments were disclosed in December in an annual filing that Hobby Lobby made to the Employee Benefits Security Administration. Okay. The Labor <clears throat> Department agency that oversees employer sponsored retirement plans. And by the way, yeah. speaking of 401k, these were just put into effect way back when to grab fees from the little guy. They were not going to benefit in any substantial way his retirement. Stealing from the employees. Another way of stealing from the little guy. That's correct. And it's allowed That's by, correct. Our, by our system. That's correct. Now, if Mr. Paul Ryan gets his way with his another stupid budget he put forward uh, the other day, uh, we'll have more of that kind of crapola. Old Muppet Face douchebag uh, uh, award winner for the month of March. Paul Ryan, the man who says that food stamps and welfare hurts the poor. That's right. And the budget that he put forward is so clear cut that it has to cut programs for the needy so that it can up the grants and subsidies and tax cuts and etc. for the wealthy. They don't have enough. It's clear right there in black and why corporations don't receive enough corporate welfare as it is no they don't getting trillions is not enough for them no they got trillions on their balance sheets and they got trillions uh, two trillion overseas which they're not bringing back because they don't want it taxed oh my god oh gee crony capitalism is a failure it is a proven bona fide Failure. Capitalism is the devil's economics. It is a failure. And do you know that there are stupid, stupid Americans out there who are still saying that that communism failed for the Soviet Union? That's why they they have the system they have now. They were better off with the totalitarian communism that they had. It wasn't a pure Karl Marx system, but it was... You know, it got corrupted. It was a well, totalitarian. About, but they had it better. What about France today? France is a socialist country. The European Union is doing just fine. Well, not the European Union. They're not France. socialist. But France is a socialist country. Does France offer a, a good free education and health care to its citizens? Indeed. Indeed. Like the Scandinavian countries? Indeed. That's the, see, that's the thing. There are better ways to do things. 
Sure. We just cannot investigate them because of this combination, as I said before, of capitalism, apple pie, mom and apple pie, Chevrolet, Those the Bible, and old glory. Now, what about you? The cannot insult any of those. Now, I heard that uh, um, that I think it's the state of Washington uh, already raised their minimum yeah, wage, minimum wage yes. and it did not hurt job creation in that state whatsoever. It actually increased it. Well, it never does. This is just a propaganda ploy. It's always been a propaganda ploy. It's what it does is simply, yeah. it makes the the uh, lower wage people richer so that they can go out and buy stuff, which is good for the economy. That's what it does. That's what it does. And that's what it's supposed but to do. But to a Republican, the more money you have to pay employees, the less money they could steal and siphon up to the rich. Exactly. Because that's forget about trickle-down economics. Uh, 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 they were showing a, an, in a banner I posted today. They were showing a comparison of Ronald Reagan and Barack Obama. Uh, you know, it's uh, Ronald Reagan's record is not as uh, it's propaganda. It's not as rosy as you think. Exactly. In terms of the deficit and spending. And Ronald and Reagan didn't bring down the Berlin Wall and the yeah. communism. Yeah. Uh, 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 ceiling. Um, uh, was it the debt ceiling? That ceiling. The um, well, anyway, uh, uh, what is how it compares the two is that you know under Obama it says uh, he cut uh, Bush's deficit in half by fifty half, percent, yes. and uh, they're calling him, they're they're comparing him to Adolf Hitler. Yeah. <laughs> and they call him weak, and then they call him a dictator. He's a, di he's a dictator because he wants the rich to pay their fair share in taxes. Oh yes, exactly. Exactly. How would they, what would they rather uh, have? A tax vacation for all eternity? For the rich, yeah. They would want to do what Reagan did. Spread it around. To the middle class and the poor. That's what he did. He broadened the base. I swear, Republicans are so much like a coddled, spoiled rich kid who refuses to share his toys with anyone or any of the other children and, and, and refuses to share food, toys, you name it. It's uh, taking a tantrum every time he doesn't hey, get his way. That, that's what they like. A lot of them are adherents of Ayn Rand and that's exactly what she preached. What about Milton Friedman? That's exactly. Well, he was a student of her. So Alan Green, uh, Greenspan. So they were they students, were students of Ayn Rand, his bitch. They met in her apartment and listened to her preaching. And she's a woman, too. Usually women are kinder and gentler compared to she men. She was a Russian woman. She was a, she was a witch. And at that time we were in the Cold she War. She was a witch. Yeah. Exactly what she was. A witch. Okay? And because she preached things that the wealthy wanted to hear. Yes. That's probably why she became so popular and so influential. Yes. Influential to certain people. People with a lot of money. Exactly. Not to normal people. With all this uh, preaching of, uh, of uh, capitalism, I'm, I'm surprised they did not send her to a gulag in Siberia. <laughs> I wonder how she saved her right, ass yeah. from the KGB. Yeah. yeah. But that's the point. I mean, these people, that's how they, that's how they think, that's how they live. They are selfish. And they've made it through propaganda, selfishness into a virtue. Mr. Joe Stein. The prosperity preacher. Prosperity preachers. He doesn't talk about End time prophecy. They defend them. Book of Revelation. He doesn't talk about salvation. He doesn't talk about uh, anything else from the Bible in particular. He just talks about money. And they certainly do not like those scriptures concerning how hard it will be for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God, etc., etc. Well, okay. Look at, you know, the. Look at what he does 
not ju not not necessarily what he says. Look at what a TV evangelist does. I mean, uh, uh, if they were real Christians, uh, they will be uh, <laughs> helping the poor with all their uh, multi millions. Exactly. No, donations, but they don't do it. And not in piecemeal a way like we do with our social programs, but by giving them two coats. Giving them your two coats. You know what that means? Backup. No. That means giving them a lot. Getting them out of their poverty. Not just giving them, not just throwing them a few crumbs. Exactly. Exactly. Like, like when a when a homeless person goes to a, a a soup kitchen or a food pantry, I realize their funds are are very Fun lim low, limited uh, to, to no fault of their own. That's uh, those are crumbs, because you only sustain the poor homeless person for that moment, for that day. Mm -hmm. Okay, but the next day he's still poor and homeless. That's right. I'm talking about uh, a country that has the ability to end poverty and homelessness. And had it many times in the past. Across the board for everyone. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah. And, you know, and, and yes, the European system does work, despite what uh, tea baggers tell you. That they tell you. Oh, they hate that. They tell you European system's a failure. Yeah. They say Canada sucks. Canada's. Well, uh, Canada's health care system is crap. Well, oh, they say you they have, come here. They come here. Oh, no, they say you have to go on a long waiting list if you're a Canadian to see the doctor. Not true. Is that true? Not true at all. Now, those who come here, they come here because Canada pays for them to come here because they are from provinces that are not served by a doctor or etc. etc. Really? So they they pay so that they come to the U.S. and get the uh, health care over here. Oh, in other words, if there's nobody in their district. Correct. Let's say they live in... Um, no, 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 Whatever. no, no, no. I know the provinces of Canada. Let's say they uh, live in uh, Saskatchewan. If they live in a, in a, a, a small farming village in Saskatchewan. Exactly. And they're not that far from the U.S. border. If there's no health care center in their district, the Canadians will pay for them to see, to get health care over here, over the border. Right. Not because well, our health care is any greater than theirs. That's not the issue. They just don't have a, a medical center in, their, in their area. That's correct. That's correct. You know, I mean, and, so it's all and, propaganda that uh, they use. And when you think about a system that's uh, socialist or, or uh, semi-socialist, you know, it's only fair that all children, whether you be rich or poor, are 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 are, are born with with the the right to a good, complete education. And if the poor kid happens to have a high IQ and he's super talented. His talent shouldn't be wasted because he's poor, because he can't afford to go to school. He should have access to college after high school and not have to pay for it, not have to, not have to go into debt and go broke to pay for it. And not only that, now they are making these students who have student loans yeah. start paying their interest before they're out of school. They should, they should be able to go bankrupt. They say, should, but that student loans are not part of the bankruptcy procedures anymore. Uh, well, they're definitely uh, a ripoff oh. if you've ever taken a good hard look at, um, at American uh, tuitions. They're astronomically high, oh, right. and yeah. since there's no jobs, how the hell are they going to pay back their student loan? But the government privatized student loans and gave it to the banks. And the banks want their money. So the banks can make the money instead of the government paying. See? Well, if you owe money to a bank, the bill collectors, they don't really care to hear excuses no. from you when they, when they call you a million times a day. Hi, hi. They have no compassion or empathy whatsoever. They want the money, want the money, want the money. Correct. Now, for those of you that are unaware of this, you can legally send them a cease and desist letter which works 
for real. You can do that if if you if you're getting bombarded with harassed harassed with calls, yeah. and they'll harass you. You know, if it's not one person, somebody else will call you. Yeah. You know, not just once a day either. Right. All day long, up right. until eight or nine p.m. There's a cutoff where you know, uh, after a certain time, it's considered. There used to be cutoffs. There used to be this uh, little peace. protection here, a little protection there, but not anymore. Uh, just like with the do not call list. You've had bill collect. You know. Uh, somebody had a bill collector call like later on at night. Oh, uh, I probably. What do you mean probably? Prob well, I don't remember. No, no, no. But uh, a you know, off. it's probably. I mean, they could they could do it any time they want. And then they'll send letters, and then they'll do this, and right. then they'll do that. They be at the boom. And then you get a letter from their lawyer. Yeah, they're bad, and the lawyers, and etc. Yeah, it goes on. And, and they get a court, and you got to do this, and you got to do that. You know, yeah. if a credit card uh, does not collect what you owe them, they write it off after a certain number of years. They they will send you a letter that they're going to write it off under taxes. Yeah, that's correct. And they will they will stop seeking. They will stop harassing you. They will stop seeking the money. No, yeah. period. They'll, the letter says they will stop seeking the money. Correct. And uh, they'll just write it off, which is what they do anyway. Is that <laughs> same thing with the the cost of labor to to companies? It's a write off. Yes. So when they cry about all oh, the unions and we can't afford to pay American workers and we have to outsource your job, well, excuses. They're, they're excuses because it's all a write off. And incidentally, they're going to outsource the job anyway. Uh -huh. It doesn't matter because they're that greedy. Well, you see them now. You see them, uh, oh, China now is getting more expensive. Bangladesh more expensive. Bangalore, etc. Hey, we got to move to Vietnam now to get those cheap laborers. You see? That's how it's done. And they're using And our toxic. laws permit it. You got it? Did Our you? laws permit it, which means we can change those things. Oh, yeah. If the people smarten up and wise up, and you know. Uh -huh. Oh, by the way, did you hear uh, uh, Gary No mention that the aloe vera grown in the Dominican Republic has DDT on it? Uh, I can imagine because DDT is legal over there. Uh, the, the American companies that had all this DDT after they made it illegal, oh, they just couldn't dispose of the DDT and take a loss. Oh, heaven forbid an American corporation should take a loss. They just simply sold it internationally. No, under a NAFTA and uh, GATT, I believe, that uh, if a rule or a regulation or something causes a company to lose profits, the government has to pay them what they would have made on their profits. But uh, that's the way the crab cake crumbles in capitalism. Some people win. Oh, no, they don't want to accept the No, wait a minute, let me finish. Some people win and some people lose. Oh, no. So, oh, yes. No, 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 no. You win, gotta, win. People have to start learning the word no in life. Win-win, baby. No win-win. Just because you're, you're a rich, spoiled brat, you, you, you got to win all the time? Yes. No. Yes, that's what they believe. People have to teach them that's not the way life is. Uh, but then like again, that. but then again, they pay off the politicians. That's right. They get their way. Moolah gets its way. Oh, I'm not going to win? You mean my stock is not guaranteed to skyrocket? Oh, uh, why do you? By the way, have you and your family ever been to Tahiti? Would you like to go Ooh. in a five-star resort? Hey, hey. We'll pay for everything. Nice. Uh, nice. Excuse me. Director of National Intelligence, James Clapper. Clap on, clap on. Clap on. Clap off. The clapper. Is acknowledging that the National Security Agency has searched for Americans' com communications without warrants in massive databases that gather emails and phone calls of foreign targets. Well, we, he lied uh, to Congress in saying that they didn't do that. Well, I know, um, I know, uh, 
the concept of the NSA spying on uh, on in foreign countries pissed off those foreign countries. They are, as well it they, should. As well it should. Because I got news for you. Those spyings are not involved in terrorism, looking for terrorists, etc. It's looking for business so that our businesses have the fast track. Okay? The, the, the never-ending pursuit of more profit. Exactly. And it goes on and on and, and on. And it gets and protected on. and protected and protected. Oh, so you were last Until year. So you get a Snowden. So who last exposes it. Right, blows the whistle. So last year, uh, well, a whistleblower in reality is a hero. Oh, not to Mr. Barack Obama and the company. Well, I think Snowden says he took an oath to uh, to uh, serve and protect uh, the Constitution. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. So did Barack Obama. Yeah, but that didn't stop him from signing the, what was it, the NADA, the National, the NDAA, a Defense Authorization Act, which basically suspends the Constitution, the Fourth Amendment. Okay? So you have a semi-fascist uh, regime. We've had a fascist regime for the longest period of time. A fascist regime, to remind people, is a corporation-run government. It, it is not to be confused with communism like these, these redneck teabaggers that throw the word fascism and communism in the same sentence. Yeah. You damned are, you traitorous, uh, uh, pinko, commie, uh, fascist, blah, 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 blah. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. They don't know how this government is really run and what is really going on behind the scenes. They have no idea. That's why the Tea Party can get away with doing nothing. <laughs> yeah. Because exactly. its supporters know nothing about they, what a government has no, to do. They're, they're clueless. <laughs> they're clueless. They're clueless about their about the Bible. They're clueless about the government. They're clueless about the only part of the Constitution they remember is probably Second Amendment. Is the the bare arms? Yeah. Bare arms and and the First Amendment with a, a freedom of speech and the press. Uh, they like to, uh, Mr. Stevens. Uh, right. Well, they like to uh, defend the First Amendment. Yeah. Uh, when they want to uh, combine church and state. Ah. Uh. But not when it's, you know, uh, 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 not the doing that. Uh-huh. Not doing that. They don't like that. But that's what it does. It doesn't combine church and state. It gives the individual to, on, to, to be, uh, to have any religion he wants. Yeah. But not that the government's going to support it. Mm -hmm. You know? Or him. Exactly. That was Steve the cat. Black and white Sylvester Felix looking cat. Male. Steve. Naturally it's a male. Although recently declassified documents made clear that the NSA had conducted such re uh, searches, no senior intelligence official had previously acknowledged the practice. Mr. Clapper did so in a letter to Senator Ron Wyden released on Tuesday. Remember, he did not do it when he was before Congress. Uh. Therefore, he could have been uh, 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 arrested for lying to Congress. Mm -hmm. But he wasn't. Mm -hmm. So now he sends a letter to cover his ass. See mm -hmm. how they get away with this crap? Yep. Clapper did not disclose the number of times the NSA had searched for Americans' communications without a warrant as part of a program authorized under Section 702 of the FISA Amendments Act. The program targets foreigners overseas for surveillance, but captures potentially large volumes of the communications of Americans in contact with those foreigners. 
According to declassified court documents, the NSA harvests about 250 million internet communications a year under the program. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The program, which does not require individual warrants for targets, mm. is being challenged in federal court as unconstitutional. This is unacceptable! Mm -hmm. Wyden, Democrat of Oregon, and Senator Mark Udall, Democrat of Colorado, said in a statement, it raises serious constitutional questions poses a real threat to the privacy rights of law-abiding Americans. Right. Wyden and Udall have co-sponsored legislation that would require the government to seek a warrant before querying the Section 702 database for Americans' data. Last month, Robert Litt, the general counsel in the office of the director of national intelligence appeared to suggest that the number of queries involving Americans data was high enough to make court approval for each query impractical. The number of times that we query the 702 database for information is considerably larger than the number of times queries are made of the NSA's telephone records database assembled under a program to search for clues to terrorist networks. The NSA queried the phone records database using numbers suspected of being linked to terrorism 288 times in 2012. Beginning in February, the NSA has had to seek court approval for each phone number it wants to query in that database. I suspect that the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court would be extremely unhappy if they were required to approve every such query made within the 702 collection. Ha! Huh. Alright. Too much work. Yeah. Too much work. Too much okay. work, yeah. How are we doing on time there, Doc? Close. Close. One, one more? By acting quickly, the Maestro report and by fiat, the Governor Christie administration struck the first blow and caught Bridget Kelly's team flat-footed. Kelly and her team waited too long to talk seriously about a deal and must now play catch-up or retreat quietly from this not so subtle form of intimidation, deal. character assassination. I'm gonna go right for the jugular vein. What deal? What deal? No deal. No deal, McNeil. They gotta, they gotta get rid of this, this Christie somehow. I have spoken harshly of Kelly. This is to some extent because she was part of an administration that I believe unethically blacklists states' residents, myself included. Since the Maestro report took a hard right turn into the land of not really relevant, Kelly could go a long way to exposing the internal machinations of the Christie administration, which it is widely believed punishes those who disagree with it. That's right. Is this Maestro or Maestro? How is this spelled? M-A-S-T-R-O. Take your choice. Maestro or... Maestro. Ma no, Maestro, Maestro. Has, an, has an E with with the A. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, probably, it could Ma be, it could probably be. Maestro. Maestro, yeah. We shall ask the gentleman, and he will know how his name is pronounced. Maestro. Yeah. But uh, right now... I'm not interested in how uh, how he pronounces his name. I'm only interested in in what is you know how, what letters are in the name. That's like somebody saying, "Well, your uh, your name is really not James. Uh, I spell my I pronounce my name uh, Jameis. Jameis. Jameson. Oh, that's good whiskey. 
Jameson Irish whiskey. No, it's James. It's James, not James. James. Seamus. Ah, Seamus, the uh, the wrestler. Yes. Yeah. Only a total idiot would place any credence in the legitimacy of an investigation conducted by a law firm composed primarily of hardcore Republican lawyers. Oh, God. But what should be most disconcerting to New Jersey taxpayers is that, apparently, one million dollars of taxpayer money was used to prepare something that contributed nothing to the state of New Jersey. It is reminiscent of the millions of dollars Governor Christie wasted in holding the special United States Senate election three weeks before the regularly scheduled election day solely for the purpose of reducing Democratic turnout. And a million, one million dollars of tax dollars wasted that buys a lot of food for food pantries for the homeless. New Jersey taxpayers deserve much better than this outrageous waste of money. And why there is not more of a backlash from disgruntled New Jerseyans is hard to understand. Bingo! And why they reelected him. And why there's no backlash. He, he has them hypnotized. He's like the amazing Kreskin, you know, he has his spell on New Jerseyans. I, not me, though. Not, not Reverend <laughs> Bill. Not, not, uh, um, I don't even know about William H. Morrow. He's like, he's a little to the right but he <laughs> compared, yeah, compared yeah, to he, us. I don't know how he stands on Chris Christie, but he's, he's more, he's more, much more pro-corporate than we are. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. but anyway. The unbalanced bias by the press, <coughs> excuse me, has resulted in daily attacks against Governor Christie, and at the same time an overlooking of the catastrophes of the Obama administration. Catastrophe? The only catastrophe is, is the Republican <laughs> Congress he's stuck with. Yeah. That's the only catastrophe I can think of. <coughs> Governor Christie <coughs> has been battered regularly on unproved allegations. I bet he loves us a lot of food that's battered. Of causing a traffic problem in Fort Lee. <clears throat> the only investigation has exonerated Governor Christie. Yes, yeah, sure. For now. Meanwhile, major failures caused by Obama administration from Benghazi, mm. Libya, to the Fast and Furious firearms operation, to Internal Revenue Service spying, have not been reported as fully. This Big is bullshit. Fox News has been on this stuff since the beginning. There's nothing there, Mr. Darrell Issa. Nothing ah. there. Benghazi incident was Benghazi. In, it took place because the Republican Congress cut funding for to protect the embassies correct why did Hillary Clinton accept this uh, persecution and blame without coming clean including Barack Obama why didn't they come clean about why there was insufficient protection in Benghazi the truth to the American people why must these Republicans continue to be protected and, and covered up? Uh -huh. What magic do, do they, what kind of mojo do they, uh, they Money. use here? Money is their mojo. And that's what keeps people from spilling the beans? Because they can get spilled their beans. Why, do you think Hillary and Barack Obama have other beans to be spilled? What do you mean? The, the I wouldn't trust the Republicans, conservatives. Uh, see, this is they the, are dangerous people. This is they the, carry this, guns. This is the problem with many progressive liberals today. They don't have the spine 
to roll up their sleeves and fight like men and fight hard and because fight dirty if you have to. Ah, but the Republicans fight dirtier. All right, then you concede to them. I ain't conceding to them. I'm telling you and exposing them to uh, them. Anybody who Jeez. is part of a huge number, a huge number, like a, a group consisting of tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of angry people, they can learn how to fight. They can, you, you, you think there's a lot of people that won't just lie down and be victimized, believe me. But a lot, there's a lot of these uh, hippie flower children liberals that are disgustingly, nauseatingly passive. They're so afraid to offend somebody. They, they have to walk on eggshells all the time. They make me sick. They're sycophants. And, I'm, and you know what? Good riddance to bad rubbish. Uh, if, if, since those sycophants left my political group on mm. Facebook, they were annoying the crap out of me. Let them go back to uh, uh, pages like uh, Being Liberal or whatever. I know those pages where you have all, everybody's blowing sunshine, sunshine up each other's ass like Barney the Dinosaur. Can't we all love each other? Can't we all get along? Well, guess what? That's not the real world. It's time for the media to start probing the Obama administration and back off Christie. Why? Because they want it. They want it. Who they wants want it? it? Who the wants Republicans. It? Screw what they want. <laughs> uh, this goes back to what I was saying before. Children, as well as adults, have to start learning the word no in our society today. And that includes all these kids that are doing nothing but texting on their iPhone. Oh, by the way, uh, a school did an experiment and, um, and uh, confiscated uh, all the smartphones from the uh, uh, teenage students and the kids were having withdrawal symptoms. They were all shaky and bent out of shape and nervous wrecks because they didn't have their phone with them. They had to read books, Billy. They had to study black the, and white. The old fashioned way. They had to they had to talk to human beings, to Ooh. real people, for, for communication, no texting, no smartphone, for a certain period of time. And the teachers said they freaked out. They freaked out. They yeah. were having smartphone withdrawal symptoms. Yes. Very good. All shaky and everything. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Uh -huh. It's interesting. The suffering sycophants. Okay, that's it. That's a. It's a wrap. Thank you for joining us for progressive discussions. Uh, top of I'm bell. sorry. Ah, uh, oh, <laughs> discussion no! Thank you for joining us for uncensored, hard-hitting truth for this week. Um, uh, and next Saturday, I guess, would be the. Uh, well, I think. Yeah, and then the following the following Saturday would be uh, Happy Pagan Ishtar. The day before Ishtar. Exactly. But anyway, bye bye. Have a great weekend. Have a great upcoming week too. Um, <clears throat> say so long to these people, please. So long, people. All right.